What's going on, dickweeds? That's better. Hey, fucking right. Um, Bloop. Um, today's Saturday, 63 fucking days of no alcohol, <laughs> I'm breaking her down though, one of these Saturdays she's gonna give in and give me back my drinking privileges, <laughs> I know it, <laughs> I can feel it, <laughs> anyway, uh, Yesterday's giveaway, the winner was Bridget. You guys might know Bridget from the comment section down below. Cigarette holder to you, Bridget. <coughs> this is the book that she won. Today we're going to have another giveaway. This is the book we're giving away today. It's the same but different. <laughs> You see? This is the one Bridget won, and this is the other one. <laughs> it's in a package also. They're both brand new in a package. Bridget, uh, I know you don't live too far from here, so whenever you're in the neighborhood, you can come by and grab the book. I mean, unless you want me to drop it off in your mailbox, then you're going to have to, like, I don't know, send me your address, because I don't know where you live. Anyway, your book is ready when you are. <laughs> Uh, today we're giving away this book, Joker, and I don't know what question we're going to ask. Now here's how the rule, write it down if you have one. Okay. The rules, I'm going to say the rules again. Some people don't understand. <laughs> uh, you have to be subscribed to the channel, and you have to like this video. And then underneath this video, you have to answer whatever question Donna asks you. You have to be the first one to answer. The first person to answer correctly is the winner. And if you're the winner, if I tell you you're the winner, right? All my information is down below. My email, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that fucking shit, right? Get a hold of me, send me your fucking address, and I'll mail you the fucking book. We also got eight more other books to give away over the next few videos, so if you're interested in winning some graphic novels, stick around. <laughs> oh, Bridget, just so you know, you can't win a second time. That's another rule. I forgot to mention that rule. You're only allowed to win one time. Everybody gets a turn. <laughs> so, yeah, Bridget won yesterday, so we need a new winner today. You can still you can still answer the question if you want, Bridget, but I can't give you the book. It goes against the rules. It goes against the giveaway rules. Joey can win, but you can't. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh Okay, so before we go any further, I'm kind of in a bad mood today. I was enjoying some really good shatter earlier and some some of those diamonds, you know, those delicious diamonds. <laughs> and I bumped my rig and the cocksucker went down and I got no more rig. 
So I got I gotta get a new one. I gotta save up some dough for a new rig. Just so you guys know. I won't be rigging it. Yeah, I won't be rigging it for a little while. <laughs> There'll be no rigging over here for a little while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> food basics, Donna. Um, so we went to uh, to Porcupine this morning because we didn't have anything to do, really. So went we to check out the fucking mall. Yeah, their little mall. So first we went to uh, the dollar store. And that fucking dollar store, it's so fucking Yeah, clean. we told them once before. It's so clean in there. And there was no bums. No bums around. So then uh, we went into the Food Basics out there. That fucking store is great. That grocery store compared to town is clean. It's You can eat nice. off the fucking floors. <laughs> it, it just looks nice. There's no bums in there sticking shit in their coat. No. No bums outside. It's like we went back in time. Yeah, everybody's just kind of minding their business. They just minding shopping. their own fucks, doing their own thing. Yeah, and it's only like a ten minute drive. So plus, outside they have fucking garbage cans <coughs> everywhere for all the garbage. <coughs> yeah, Cause it's really clean around there. Not like the food basics here in Timmins. For those of you that didn't know, we're in Timmins, Ontario, and the food basics here uh, has bums. There's hobelos all over the fucking place. They sit inside with their cups and they sneak into the store to steal shit. Garbage. And there's garbage every fucking where, like everywhere. You could barely see the concrete sometimes. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah. If you haven't been to Porcupine in a while, maybe you should take a trip. Yeah. It's a, it's a, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Health unit, Donna. So they issued um, this thing about uh, whatever... I don't know what drugs are out there, but there's like some type of drug that's go drugs that are going around. Some kind of dirty fucking shit. With like extra shit in there. Extra shit. That they're calling poisonous or something like that. So like when you overdose on it, they said like it... It's multiple naloxone kits that they have to use on you to get you back. And, like, my understanding is, like, the paramedics are going to have to fucking work on you to bring you fucking back. But they say... Work on you? Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. Hey, it's like whatever. What do they mean, work on well, you? Well, usually it's, like, one... Like, I know they give you, like, some of the CPR, right? Well, like, right? if they had to put something... Hey, put... the CPR. <laughs> If they had, uh, like, maybe they have to get, like, an IV into you, or maybe they got a, you know. Yeah, maybe. Like, usually it's, they say, like, it's only, like, one naloxone kit. I've seen, like, things on TV before, like, real things, where uh, it's, like, uh, two. They've had to use two, but, like, they're saying multiple. Because so, there's been, like, uh, they said, uh, what is it, like, there's just been a lot of overdoses, apparently, and... Maybe that's like with all the sirens, hey? Yeah, we've heard a lot of sirens lately. But they say also the health unit, right? If you're going to use that stuff, uh, make sure you have a friend with you if you're by yourself. If you are like, don't use by yourself. Go to the safe site. Go and you use it there because like they have, they'll bring you back too, you know. Uh Use in small amounts if you're not sure, you know, so don't use all of it right away. Just use a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. Times have changed. <laughs> it wasn't like that back in my day. And to carry, uh, and make sure you have at least one naloxone kit on you. <laughs> so, so, and they say that, right? Because if you're ODing, they want somebody to see this kit on you and they do and they give you the fucking like uh i think it's some some type of spray or something that goes up their no nose they want you basically it's like they have the kit and they want somebody else to save them huh. which is kind of weird like not weird but you know that's asking like 
That's kind of putting somebody on the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not like that, but like, <laughs> like you know, even if you didn't want to, are you going to really let somebody die right there when you know that you just have to push something like a squirt of like a mist thing up their nose? I don't know. You know? I don't know. It'd be like, you know, I, I don't... Like, if you're religious, you already know the answer, right? But if you're not religious, you hopefully have enough common sense, you know? What are you saying? About if somebody was overdosing. What they gotta do with religious? Because, like, I think, like, because if you're, you know, like, some people aren't religious, and they, they just think, okay, well, not my problem, keep on, on walking. Oh. Like oh. that. Oh, you mean like if someone's OD and you hope that there's like a, a person that's re like a <laughs> why do you use religious? Because <laughs> you just know. No. <laughs> so just... hopefully someone, <laughs> hopefully someone who believes in God stops and saves your ass is what yeah, you mean. Yeah. Okay. Or, or I understand if, now. Or if somebody had, that has like because there's a lot of people that have walked by and probably just like you know give you a kick in the rib while you're down. But, like just look over at you and take keep what on you walking. got in your pocket and or run away. I said, <laughs> Or the, you know, if you weren't religious, but you had common sense, and you know, common sense is telling you, like, okay, this is, it's just like the human thing to do. But, you know, there's some people that are not going to help you, no matter, I just, like, I don't know, there's something wrong with that. You got to carry a kid around in case you're fucking overdose. You're dying, and you need somebody to give you this. That doesn't even know you, you know? Hey. <laughs> Okay. Have like mental scars from it, you know. Mental scars. <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't want to think about that. It'd be already in your brain if you had to do it, though. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Some bum who wasn't a bum. Okay, so we went to the dollar store here in town, and. Uh, yeah, we stopped there too. To, anyways, so I go over and uh, look at the soap, the hand soap, and uh, well, I'll say this part first. And Ed, he he doesn't. There's certain aisles Ed just doesn't come in with me. Like he just and I. I don't like to come in aisles. Like he doesn't care what soap I pick. He finds the aisle boring, and he ends up just wandering out of it anyway. So. Yeah, I grew with it too. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So he's like over and like. <laughs> Looking at the candy or fucking, you know, over in that section. Anyways, I'm looking at the fucking uh, hand soap, okay? Anyways, there's a lady beside me. She's squatting down, right? She has long black hair with a little bit of gray and some glasses. So I'm standing there and I'm, I'm looking like, okay, what's the best fucking deal, you know? And you don't want something, you know, dollar store, like the, you know, company says. What's like, the best deal here in the dollar store? Well, you can get, <laughs> Brett, like, you can get, like... That sounds funny. What's the best deal in the well, dollar like you, store? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the lady who squatted... How, how cheap are you getting? Well, not that Donna's cheap. cheap. Not that cheap. Like, I don't want Dollarama brand. Sometimes you get some fucking soap and you wash your hands. There's not even any bubbles. <laughs> That's how cheap the soap no. is. Dollarama soap. <laughs> I don't buy that. It doesn't lather up. It just kind of, like, makes your hands slippery. And you can't even, like... You can't even get the slipperiness off. You you can rinse your hands for fucking ever and. Okay, listen. You know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm standing there looking at the at the soap, and there's a lady that's squatted down, squatting down. It's beside best me. for wanking. She's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's squatted down beside me, okay. And I noticed like her head go really super fast over, right? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, just, like it was like that. It was like she was squatting down it, and she was just like. Like that, so I, I looked, like, it caught my attention. I, like, I was like, what the, f like, I, so I'm standing there, but I don't, you know, I don't like staring at people, because, I don't know, I just don't want to deal with them, so I kind of like looking over at her, and she said, and, and, um, so she's like, she's like this, and she says, she says, I told you to fuck off! <laughs> like that, okay, and she goes, nobody was there, she was screaming <laughs> down! That's what she said, she's like, she's like this, she goes, I told you to fuck off! And she looks back like it's just that quick at the fucking uh, 
whatever was there. If I, you're from Timmins, Ontario, where we are, we're not from here. We we moved here, but we're not from <laughs> yeah, here. We're not from here. If you're from Timmins, Ontario, maybe you can answer this question. And if you can, leave a comment down below. Why the fuck are there so many crazy people up here? Like, you know, like great Looney Tunes type people. They talk to themselves and invisible people. And yeah, stuff that's and like, I, like, and when she looked back, right, then I looked away, right, and I was like, oh, like, okay, I'm just going to grab this fucking hand soap, right? I didn't want to stay, but then we ended up behind her anyways at the fucking dollar store, and then the East Indian cashier wouldn't call I did, her. I didn't know that that lady did no. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she, anyways, uh, then there's the East Indian cashier. She wouldn't call anybody else, any other cashiers, you know, to serve other customers, and she was going so fucking slow, right? So Donna threw the fucking soap down and said, let's get the fuck out of here. I wasn't waiting. And that's, and that's what led us out to, to Porcupine, we decided to go to. That also led us out to the fucking fake bum. Oh, yeah, the fake bum, yeah, yeah. So there's this guy, I'm already, like, pushing the door open, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, and he grabs the door, right? And and I and I say, thank you, I, but I don't have any money for you, but I say, thank you, right? We get in the car, and, and Ed asks me if, if uh, that's a real bum. <laughs> we were looking at the guy. He didn't tell. Uh, he had a brand-new backpack, brand-new shoes, brand-new pants, brand-new jacket on, and then Donna says, Look, it even looks like he washed his hair because the guy's hair was really fluffy. Like he just, yeah, like he just got like, like showered up and he was ready to take on the day. Yeah, I don't think he was a hobolo, but he was, he was standing there holding a cup though, hoping to get, you know, buddy for opening the door for people. Yeah, looking for some drug money. I'm not giving dirty you. cocksucker. <laughs> we ain't giving you money for that. No, and you're not even like uh <coughs> You're not you're you're lying about your being a bum. Yeah, you're lying about being a bum. <laughs> and that's everything we got on the notes except for uh I put Donna's fucking T V stand together today and it her was TV, a challenge. Yeah, her TV's finally off the fucking floor. I still got to put the glass doors on the front, but everything's pretty much done. It was, uh... Tomorrow we'll plug the TV in, and I guess we got to let it update, because it's one of them kinds, you know? Isn't that how they go? Yeah, I'll you got to you know. let it update or something with the internet or something. I don't know. I think so. We don't, we don't, we don't get too many new TVs around here. <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I don't know what it has to do. We with had that this. one big one in the living room there. No, well, it's not as big as the one we have now, but the one we used to have in the living room, that cocksucker had to update. It had updates all the time. So I'm assuming the new one's going to have updates. Update? Yeah. Probably a lot more updates because it's going to have like all the, <coughs> all the newer up-to-date features, you know? All the fancy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hang on here. What are you What are you gonna do? I need a drink. You get a drink. What do you want? I'll take a drink. You got anything to munch on? Donna made taco salad for supper today. It was okay. <laughs> I just can't. It was good. <laughs> we got eight more books to give away graphic novels through Oot the Week. Did I already say that? Should I show them or not show them? Show them or keep them in suspense, Donna? Keep them in suspense. Gotta stay in suspense. She won't let me show you. Anyway, what's the question for this one? I've, wrote, I've written two things down. You've written two things I've down. Let me see. I don't know if they're any good. I was going to say earlier, uh, hmm. what's Charlie's name? And then see how many of you guys were wondering what Charlie's name was. When his name's Charlie, you know. <laughs> but that Donna said that wouldn't have been good or funny. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, Donna's got a good one here. 
Now get ready. After I say this question, uh, you gotta remember now if you if you're just coming to watch the video and like late and other people watch the, the answer might already be down below. I don't know. But anyway, the question's gonna be this. Get ready. Pause this video and go down below and suck my cock. Hey! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pause the video, go down below, and leave your answer. You ready? On which day did I quit drinking? I hope nobody goes down and says, Oh, I think it was a Monday. Hey! I meant the date. Hopefully they didn't already fuck off the answer. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll show you guys the uh, stand that I put together. Well, me and Donna put together uh, at the end of the video because I, I don't feel like getting up right now. I'm pretty comfortable over here. Any chance I can get a drink of that drink? That There's you... some right there. Oh, you got me my own. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it laying there because she like... It looked like she threw it there like it was garbage. Oh my god, the fucking people that were driving today. The fucking people oh. that were driving today. Going, where'd we go? I forget where. Going somewhere through town and like... I don't know, it was taking us much, like, way too long, eh? When we were driving. Remember? That when we were driving out to South End, fucking Ed beeped at some girl, right? Because the light was green and she wasn't going. Well, that, well that's not what happened. There was more to the story than mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. We were driving out to South End. And there was two girls in a car behind us. And... She decided to go into the slow lane around me and then back into the passing lane. Mm -hmm. And then the lights were there. Mm -hmm. And then the light turned green and she didn't go nowhere. We were sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. I think her and her friend were like, they're probably stoned or something. They're sitting there having a little chit chat right there at the fucking lights, not noticing what was going on. So I honked at them and the girl like slammed down that gas pedal and fucking she must have drove it like 120 or 130 all the way oop, to South Porcupine. Actually she passed, she went through Porcupine and kept on going, I think. Yeah, she was. But why the fuck do you pull in front of me just to fucking stop? Stay in the other lane, bitch. Actually, she was behind me, so stay behind me, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. When we fucking lifted the TV, I'll tell you a story. Tell them a story. So we got. Hang on, though. I told you guys I broke my rig, right? It happened just before we started this video. I actually fucking was gonna open this fucking bag of, or not a bag, this pouch of, this not even a pouch. It's like a little envelope <laughs> of white wedding shatter. Guess I won't be doing it today. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Okay, what now? Fucking Best Buy. We stopped by there because Donna got some stuff. The some kind of TV ski TV skein. <laughs> TV skein. <laughs> Fuck! Hey. Uh, she went and got some TV screen cleaner. And I'm fucking telling you, they need to fucking like air that fucking place. Oot. It smells like fucking bo really bad. Mm -hmm. Really fucking bad. 
Yeah, I think so, nobody well, wears deodorant in that fucking place. And like, okay, uh, this is an honest. Okay, as we were leaving or walking up to the uh, cash, the guy uh, was there. The guy that was the, the sales guy for the fucking TV, right? Okay. He smell. He he has the worst I, smell in the uh, whole fucking store. As we were, you like, can't walk beside that motherfucker. As like he was just getting, your eyes will start to melt. <laughs> well, as we were like, I noticed him right, and I was like, I'm not fucking smelling that again. Like, we, <laughs> no, no, I was <laughs> no. So, so like, I like we we're walking right, and like I and I fucking as we, I didn't even say anything, Dad. That's why I, like I stopped talking to you because I held my fucking breath. Like, I held I, my breath too. I was like, we we're walking, and that dude came walking with us yeah, somewhere, and, and, and he, he was like still, almost right beside us, walking the same way. And, Right away. No, he was. Th that's what happened. He was standing over here, right. And as we were getting close, I seen him. He started to walk, right. Like as we passed. As I he said, he came out of somewhere. He was in an aisle or something. He came to the end of the aisle, <laughs> and we were walking. I seen him. So as soon as I sit down, and I walked all the fucking way to the cash like that. When I got to the cash, I could still fucking smell him. <laughs> it just wouldn't go away. Um. Oh, yeah. It wasn't until I got outside that, you know. You go, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> next time I go, next time we go in there, we should both go in there with a clothespin each on our nose. <laughs> Nah, we better not, because then you'll be able to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody that. wants to taste that shit. Okay, what were you saying? Um. After we got the stand put together, <laughs> good thing that Ed was here, because, like, why is it a good thing I was here? Because I there were some things I just wasn't understanding. Donna didn't understand any of it. <laughs> what are you? There's a fucking there's a fucking piece of wood on the floor, <laughs> one with the si two side legs. It has these plastic fucking things in in it already, and all you gotta do is like just twist the fucking little screw things in, right? And I said to Donna, we'll just put those in. So instead of looking at the thing where they go on the thing on the ground, she looks at the fucking stand that's over, the parts that are already put together. And there's a fucking hole where one of those little wooden dowels, is that what it's called, a dowel? You know, a little thing you'll pop in. Well, she's trying to stick a fucking screw in there. She, and, and, and it's fitting, but not, not the way she wants it to. And she looks at me, how come this isn't like uh, going the way it's supposed to? Like, I'm looking at it like, are you fucking retarded? <laughs> you know? And then I, you know, I had to point out that, you know, Donna, see those little white things on the ground there? You gotta... And then, yeah. Well, anyways, that wasn't... Anyways, <laughs> when we got it put together... You kind of had to be here. We got put together. We got exactly where we wanted it. Got it where we wanted it. The next step was to, to grab the TV and, like... Pick it up at this, you know, and just get it up there. And I didn't, I, my plan originally was to pick it up, move it back a little bit, then lift it up. But then, that seemed like a lot of work anyways. So we pick it up and we get it up on the fucking stand. Something behind my belly button, it hurts so fucking ba bad from the, the weight of it. Because that TV's fucking heavy. It's pretty heavy. It, it, I don't like having to lift it. It's like you really uh, like fuck. It's horrible, but I don't know what the fuck I did be on my belly button. It's because it's so thin and 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 where you grab it underneath, right? Yeah, it, it's, like it's like really. Uh, like Ed said, you can really feel the edges. <laughs> well, like you said, why why don't they have handles? I'm gonna get in my road tilt right here, and then we'll go and take a look at the stand. Yeah, they. TV should have fucking handles nowadays, you know? Yeah. Make it easy to move the fucking thing. 
Anyways, I'm glad that it's up, but fuck, it, it was heavy. It was. Just it was heavy. Donna. Eddie, I didn't do it. You do that thing. You, you, it's like you stop breathing for a second. You, it's I like don't stop breathing at all. It's like you're a medic and you're just like. No. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what you do. No. You fucking stink. You. Fuck. Was it yesterday after the video that fucking part that fucking, you know, right off the fucking pleather? I said it was like a little machine gun. This morning I farted into the fan in the bedroom and, and it shot at Donna. He did it on purpose right before <laughs> he was going to take his morning shit. So it was like really strong. I thought I was going to go back to bed. And then Ed says, <laughs> oh, well, you're getting up anyways. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I guess. Like, now I'm getting up. I'm not staying in a fucking room like that. <laughs> Farting into the fan. Yeah, like you're fucking, you know, you're, you know, everything that's built up overnight is. <laughs> yeah, the overnight build up. <laughs> okay, you guys want to see the stand? Yeah. I hear yes. <laughs> You gotta what? Put that away? Yeah, I guess it's kind of warm in here. Okay, let's go and look at the stand. Come on, Donna, come and show the stand. There's the stand. I still gotta put those glass doors on, though. And, like, <laughs> Earlier, Donna says, the, "Oh my God, Eddie, the, don't!" These, these, these glass doors were like piled against the wall over there, and there's some fucking—I don't know if you guys can see—but there's some holes right there yeah, for the, uh, yeah, for the hardware. And Donna didn't know that. She looked at me and she goes, "I think we put this together backwards. <laughs> I see holes in the front." <laughs> anyway, that's that's the stand. It looks there's a TV off of the floor. Hang on, let me let me go back here so you guys could see better. A better a better shot. It looks like that. Not too bad. <laughs> Fucking right. And then the say? No. Okay, well fucking Anyway, that's all we really did today. We put the stand together, put the TV up, banged a little bit. What are you looking for? Uh, something cold. <laughs> something like, uh, something. I'll have it after we, after we say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else to say? No. Oh, stay happy and stay safe and be kind. And then enjoy your uh, s uh, s <laughs> Saturday night. Hang on, let me, let me go this way. I don't like using the other arm. And uh, <laughs> have a good night. Have a good night. That's it. That's it. Secret holder, everybody. We are oot. We are oot. Say goodbye, Shaws. Come on, say goodbye. <laughs> Come on, say it louder. No, you don't want to? You say goodbye, Donna. <laughs> <laughs>